our other kids, our three boar goats that we saved from being slaughtered as meat. Uh, these were a 4-H project for for a kid, and he fell in love with them, and they were actually grand champion, reserve grand champion of first place at the county fair three years ago, and they were all going to be slaughtered for meat, and the kid just fell in love with them, and he didn't, even though he would have made money, but he didn't want to see him die, so we bought them from him instead, and since uh, we're... My partner's a vegetarian, and I'm slowly becoming one. Um, they kind of have funny names since they were supposed to be meat. Um, this is Arby. His, yeah, his real name's Rump Roast. And then um, this is Hammy, or Hammock, or Hamhock. Huh, Hammy. And then this one is Piggy, or uh, Pork Chop. So, that's their names. <laughs> These are our boys. Huh. You guys love attention. <laughs> yeah. And these two here, Hammy and Piggy, are actually true brothers. And then Arby was the runt out of another litter. And uh, they pick on poor Arby for food and stuff. But he's a sweetheart. Oh, Arby. Normally they're out in pasture when it's nice out. Um, we have about three, three fourths of an bless you, three fourths of an acre pastured that they have access to. And in the winter, though, we keep them in in the stall here to keep them a little bit warmer and drier. So they uh, they have a heated water bowl, and it's about a 20 foot by 20 foot stall. So I got plenty of room to, to walk around on, even though they <laughs> normally stick right here to the door so they can get attention. And it's funny, they actually get up and put their front paws up on there and kind of walk around on the, the barrel. It's quite entertaining. So, well, they know it's morning feeding time, so better get them their food. <laughs> 